Giving a quick rundown of a few things here. Here we have a outdoor enclosure, aluminum. Uh, I think it's IP65 rated. Here we're just gonna open it up and take a gander. We've got a Bobcat miner in here, fully online. It is actually attached to the wall mount, uh, which is attached or housed to the aluminum backplate. Then we've got our power over ethernet and uh, goes into the power over ethernet splitter here. It's the splitter. And we've got uh, some N-type connections going on. We've got N-type to RPSMA. Uh, that would be male, attaching to the back of the Bobcat. And then uh, we've got our N-type connections here. We've got a middle N-type uh, adapter that actually goes through and houses uh, onto the aluminum housing here. So then this would attach to a lightning arrestor, which of course is grounded uh, to the actual pole itself, to a ground clamp, which uh, the POE, or Ethernet surge protector, is also grounded to that. So just keep in mind that you definitely want to uh, ground your Ethernet cables here because static electricity can come to and from the all lines of the Ethernet cable specifically, and then it can uh, fry your network. So I'll actually go over what I did next to prevent frying your network because this currently, this uh, power over Ethernet, or just Ethernet surge protector rather, is protecting the Ethernet line from static, whereas this um, lightning arrestor is protecting from static from the antenna itself and going into the miner. Uh, I do have a, it's a Rokeland 5 dBi antenna attached. It's getting some really strong coverage right now, uh, even being upside down. This is not permanent. Uh, I am going to be drilling a housing at the top so that uh, the antenna would emit from the top and have minimal uh, interference around it. Just wanted to give you a quick rundown of that, and that's what an outdoor enclosure looks like on top of a roof about 16 feet in the air.